Eyewitness News reporter Alan Cabana is live tonight outside Mayfield's home. And Alan, deputies could file more charges against him. Blair, that's what they're working on tonight. They came to his home yesterday with a search warrant looking for stolen property. They say they found it along with drugs and at least 50 guns. Keith Lee got a call from investigators yesterday saying after 10 months they'd found his stolen property. He just had to come pick it up. My brother-in-law recognized the address and he asked if that was Jeremy Mayfield's and they told him it was. Acting off tips, investigators from Mooresville and Catawba and Lincoln counties served a search warrant at the former NASCAR driver's home. They say they found $100,000 worth of stolen property, including Lee's welding equipment and hydraulic pumps. We had about four trucks, four trailers went down and we were there for probably three hours loading stuff up. Deputies also found one and a half grams of meth in a gun safe. That led to Mayfield's arrest and to investigators seizing his gun collection. Today I counted 50 guns as deputies checked each one with the ATF to make sure they weren't stolen. He's charged with a felony now, so if you're a convicted felon, you can't own or possess firearms, so we went ahead and seized them. I called Mayfield today, but didn't get an answer. Later in the day, his wife Shana left me a voicemail. There will not be any interviews given today or any, any in the forthcoming days. Okay, thanks. Now tonight, Mayfield is only charged with the possession of meth. He's out on $3,000 bail. 